Welcome to another edition of Run, Jump, Chuck with Mossy and Robbo. And I'll tell you what, Robbo, it's been a massive week. We had four days of live streaming in the juniors. We also had the track uh, classic in there as well, mate. And I finally did get some sleep on this tour because it was just insane on the weekend. Yeah, look, I, I think I saw you just huddled up in the fetal position <laughs> on that Sunday afternoon. It was Till a, just then. <laughs> it was a massive weekend. Yeah, I've just woken him up. Mate, uh, absolutely huge. Great to see all those juniors uh, competing from all across Australia. And uh, yeah, love to see the action there. We had Jack Hale getting his three gold medals there. Uh, but Brandon Harrigan from Queensland, Jordan Shelley, the, the sprinters, boys and girls, lots to like about all of that. Uh, but what about the big ticket? What did the crowd come to see on well, Saturday mate, night? Everyone, admit one, they came to see David Rudisha, the 800 metre world champion, Olympic gold medalist, uh, mate. Um, and unfortunately, that wasn't the big ticket item on the night. <laughs> Well, it was big, uh, and, it was, and look, the stands were, were chockers out there. I've been out there for a few for a few years. Uh, I've never seen it as packed. He certainly had a uh, huge presence, Rudisha, on the track, and he got the win, 145.01. Uh, but the run of the night, Mossy, uh, you could argue, was Ellen Nelson. We can see here, uh, look, she's managed to take the scalps of Sally Pearson and Mel Breen uh, across her favoured 200-metre event, but uh, a big, big moment for Ellen Nelson, and we had to catch up with her after the race. Well, we learnt from last year especially and really learned that we got a bit closer around the bend and that's what I really tried to do today and it succeeded and I couldn't be happier. Tell us about that time. It's a PB. How good's that? It's Congratulations. Awesome. Thank you so much. Couldn't be, like you can't expect anything more than a PB. Um, World Champs qualifier is even closer now, so I can't wait and hopefully have another good crack at nationals. Excellent. Well, there's that box. It's waiting I to know. be ticked. Brandon Stark <laughs> over here has put the tick in that box tonight. I so. know. How exciting. I couldn't be happier for Brandon either. Actually seeing him jump pumped me up so much. Awesome. I actually yelled and they were all like, oh, what just <laughs> Really happy for Brandon, really happy my, for myself. A couple of youngsters really coming through. And Mossy, one thing I didn't ask Ella about was the tactic to loosen the bra as she came around the bend. And that obviously freed up that right arm and allowed her to push home for the win. So uh, Ella Nelson loosening the bra, you could, you could say a little bit racy, but it got the job done that night. Absolutely. We were all distracted up in the commentary booth and it takes Sally's quick chick arm sleeves uh, to a whole new level. Now, mate, uh, before the live stream, every time uh, you ask, what am I looking forward to? Of course, it's the long jump. The girls there, Chelsea Yench, uh, Brooke Stratton, Jess Penny, um, Karina Minko, all those girls. But, mate, it was outdone on the day. I didn't even pick it up beforehand, but there was another jumper that beat him. Well, a high jump and uh, you got Derek Druin in there, Canadian uh, Olympic medalist. Commonwealth Games gold medalist and uh, look Michael Mace, another Canadian there, but Brandon Stark, there yeah. he came out and blew them all out of the water and uh, we can see some footage here, Mossy, this was just sensational. Yeah it was mate, I, I tell you what, um, I just couldn't believe it, the fact, I mean, when he got to 220 out it was awesome, it's 230 mate, just uh, yeah, hands down one of the greatest moments in my um, time as a sports commentator. And we, get, we had a chance to catch up with Brandon after his big win. PB, world chance qualifier, has it sunk in yet? Uh, no, no, definitely not. Um, um, I'm absolutely stoked. I'm yeah. absolutely stoked. Sorry. You right? um, yeah, um, the, the Canadian boys, they, they definitely helped. Um, the crowd, the crowd's absolutely amazing. Uh, each, each year, Sydney Track Classic, Produces awesome crowds. The, uh, the Shane Juniors obviously helps, but um, yeah, I'm over the moon. And this is your, you mentioned the track, this is your home track. You've jumped better here uh, than probably any other track in the world. And I mean, there's previous your PB. PB. Yeah, yeah, previous PB <laughs> so was here. It's so. all been here. Yep. And we've just mentioned about uh, your brother, Mitchell. I know he gets talked about a fair bit. Four for 14 off 4.4 4 versus, versus 232 PB. We've given the, man, the uh, Stark of the day to yourself, mate, so yes. congratulations, thank you've you, got it. Thank you very much. You've got one over your brother. Awesome. I didn't know. Now, so, mate, the jumpers, absolutely on fire there. Rare air for Brandon Stark. And, mate, um, chucking, well, here it is, the discus, and it was the darling of the discus once again. Yeah, look, unfortunately, she promised me she could get six out of six World Champs qualifiers. The foul was so narrow in that first throw uh, meant that she couldn't. Five out of five, the next best thing, and she was able to do that. And she was able to go big and get up to 66 metres, some footage here. Uh, and Mossy, she just keeps going from strength to strength. But I won't be satisfied until we hit 68. No, exactly right. In fact, we probably shouldn't mention Danny until she hits 68 and gets a six qualifier. Well, she's not. Here's, here's her interview from the night, but this is her last one until she gets 68. You know, 65 and 64 have become quite consistent for me. You know, I love that word. Yes. Um, but, yeah, when 66 comes up, it's actually, it's really exciting. So I'm pumped for well, that one. I could see the uh, the 
hand pump there. Yeah. After that one, I went, yeah, she's pretty pretty fired up about yeah, that. Yeah, that'll get a smile out of me. Falling 68. I know that's still a big <laughs> yeah. goal for you. Magic number. And, it, yeah. and look, if you're throwing this uh, in March in Sydney, uh, you must be pretty you know, excited if you stop and think about where it can go later in the year. Yeah, it is. You know, everyone always talks about building throughout the year and it is the domestic season and we're still in really hard work. But, you know, for me, I'm just enjoying throwing and enjoying just, you know, it feeling really good and feeling smooth and consistent. So, um, yeah, it is further than what I threw here last year. So that's a big bonus. So, yeah, I'm just really excited and looking forward to nationals. Now, mate, uh, plenty of news going on in the world, but also the world of athletics and the world of Dave Robbo. Well, athletics is all in the headlines, Mossy. And, uh, yeah, I had the, had the fortunate chance to jump into the studio at ABC News 24 and uh, have a quick chat about the oldest and most pure sport of all. Dave, can you just uh, give us a snapshot of the health of Australian athletics at the moment, given the popularity of the other sports, particularly as we head into the football season, obviously? Yeah, look, I'm, uh, I'm lucky enough to be quite close to it this season with the live streaming that we've been doing following the tour around the country. I'm sensing, uh, look, we had a boom time during uh, the, the, over the 2000 Olympic Games and we had Cathy Freeman um, and big, big names that were there, uh, Matt Sherman in there as well. We've, we've had a bit of a lull in uh, in recent, in the, probably the last eight, nine, ten years, but I'm sensing a real resurgence and athletics renaissance, I guess, and uh, a lot of the younger talent uh, coming through. There's a lot of exciting things and a lot of things uh, to like about what's happening in the sport. I think it's got a lot of challenges ahead. Uh, it's a sport that, yeah, has to ask a few questions of itself, how it's, how it's doing things, how it can compete with some of the mainstream sports, but uh, hopefully we can grab some attention. And with events like what we're going to see tonight in Sydney, I mean, that's going to hopefully get it back in the in the uh, reckoning of the sports fans of Australia. Uh, there was a great little piece done by Neve Owens on David Radisha, and you should capture it. We'll put a link up in our little show notes. Uh, but Mossy, uh, disappointed I didn't get the hair and makeup treatment. Mate, well, what we're disappointed in is, mate, the headband. What yeah. happened? Yeah, well, I just thought I'd warm them up to it. I thought the run, jump, chuck shirt got a good, got a good run, but uh, I'll warm the ABC guys up to the headband. I promise you, next time we go on, headband is on for sure. And, it, mate, it didn't stop there with ABC. It, uh, we went on to pay TV as well. People had to pay for the privilege. <laughs> That's right. Fox Sports, they, luckily, they jumped all over the Stark of the, the Day story, uh, the little video of Brandon Stark uh, outperforming his brother Mitchell Stark, who got four, four, four wickets against only Scotland. So, uh, yeah, we were happy enough to give uh, Brandon the Stark of the Day award, and Fox Sports loved that. And then, this week, they've backed it up on the Back Page Show, which is a great little program. Tony Squires hosts that there, and uh, and uh, Ryan Fitzgerald as well. Fitzy, he's one of our biggest supporters in the commentary team, and they played it again, and uh, you can listen to some of the the, uh, the show here. What about Mitchell Stark's brother? Give a face to him, because uh, he did Mitchell Stark's brother. You may not know this. It was a big I weekend for the Stark. <laughs> <laughs> probably would. This is a high jumper. Uh, okay. Two point three metres uh, he cleared the weekend. It's best in Australia for how long, Fitzy? Got nine. 1999, Tim Forsyth was yeah. the last time to jump this. But have a listen to the commentators here. This is very funny. They get very excited. He looks, he looks a lot like Mitchell too, doesn't yeah. he? Yeah. I guess when was you commentate high jump... Was that Pitsy commentating? Was that you? That was me on my iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> The when great he... thing is, if you look at the vest, he's come straight from working for the council, <laughs> doing the road signs, and jumped two metres through. That is unbelievable. He wasn't even competing. <laughs> <laughs> he was holding a stop sign. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess the question is, Robbo, ABC, Fox Sports, where from here? Well, uh, look, Mossy. Not um, crime stoppers. Ma- <laughs> anyway, we might pop up anyway. <laughs> Shervo did a nice little piece on Fox Sports as well, so it's great to see. Uh, it seems, I don't know whether it's just us, Mossy, because we're close to it, but it seems to be um, a virtual avalanche of athletics in the media now, and I think that's not going to stop uh, for the next few weeks. Well, it is no coincidence, is it, that we're involved in athletics and there's an avalanche. It's just because we don't stop. You see Rob out there plugging on all the different media. And, and Mossy's sacrificing his sleep and his health. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, uh, mate, um, sacrifice this week in the car because, unfortunately, the girl we had down to do it, Maddie Heiner, she wanted me to produce my licence and I didn't have oh, it on me. I was, I was waiting for this to happen, Mossy, so it couldn't happen. I got caught out finally. Well, mate, luckily enough, I was on hand and after Maddie's win in the women's 5,000 metres, uh, she became the national champion there. We went for a stroll around the park around the track and uh, this is a brand new segment to fill in for your for the in the car <laughs> and this is called lapped and this week it's with maddie heimer oh, no, let's let's do a lap okay lap with maddie we can run you doing a warm down no, no. Oh, good. <laughs> so uh maddie heimer national champion 
yep. 5,000 metres. We haven't spoken for a little while. No. We've, we've, we've interviewed oh, you a few a, times this a season. Break, yeah. But uh, you knew, we knew you were keen to get another interview, and that's what uh, drove I you know, tonight. That was, that was what I thought of in the last K. Very good. 5,000 <laughs> metres, when was it getting really, really tough? Uh, look, it felt kind of felt quite comfortable most of the way. The pace, I have no idea if the pace was consistent or what happened. Um, I suppose the gaps start happening, you start thinking about what I really wanted and I really really wanted to be the first Australian so I sort of targeted that for the second half of the race um, and then I suppose Susan started to come back a little bit and uh, got a second wind but the Kenyan took off like nothing else and uh, same thing happened last year but it was mostly Toronto last year so uh, I'm pretty, yeah, pretty pleased with that one tonight. Now I want to get the athletes experience <laughs> from running out here, you did 12 and a half laps of this track tonight mm -hmm. and we have a little pan around. This is where we are in Sydney at Sydney Olympic Park Athletic Centre. What's the crowd doing when you're uh, when you're out here? Like you're out on the back straight here, a bit more lonely over this yeah, way, I guess. Yeah, it's not though, because the distance runners are on the back straight, so you uh, you get a little shout. It's always a little cluster at 300, 200. There's a good group over at 150, and then you're kind of coming home again. So uh, no, it was a lot of support out there tonight for. When they call me, I run, and when they call other people, you know they're nearby, so you still run hard. All right, tell us a little <laughs> bit about. Uh, where you have grown up from and a little bit about your oh, journey, Maddie. Okay, so I am from the south coast. I grew up in Kayama. I now live just north of Wollongong in Thoreau. Uh, I was a good little junior runner, went to uni, lost interest in running, did other things for the last, well, for eight years. Decided to run some fun runs in 2013. Got better at it, decided to get back on the track. And then just carved and up since then. <laughs> and then we've, I feel like we've, we've spoken uh, on the stream, yeah. Yeah. You know, a yeah, dozen we times have. now. I know. We're, You're a regular we're contestant. Chatters. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> and uh, we saw that, that sort of comeback win up at the, at the Hunter last year. Yeah. And that must have it made you. the prettiest run. No, but... <laughs> it wasn't pretty, but it must have made you believe, hang on, yeah. I can do this again. It, yeah, it was, it was amazing. It probably stands out as the, still the race. My parents were there, and I think they thought it was a little bit of a a lovely little idea to want to make the com games and, and that one sort of showed that if I was that bad getting over the hurdles I only just missed it. <laughs> yeah, I didn't there's a future. To, yeah, <laughs> yeah, still plenty of work to be done in that part but um, yeah anyway it was a good year. <laughs> Let's run us through your last 50 metres of the oh. race tonight. Um, still a pretty I was good trying crowd to, Yeah, I was trying to hear if there were any breaths behind me. I didn't think there were and I got to about here and it was 15-15 I thought oh damn it's not going to happen. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's always, always pretty sweet when you don't have any bends to go around anymore and you're, that's it. you're nearly there. <laughs> you don't get dizzy, do you, doing all those laps? No, no, the, that's that's feels actually quite nice after my 10k late last year, so yep. I think that was a, a good move to do that one and then puts things in place for this one. All Thanks right. so much for uh, that's all right. 400 Thanks metres for the, the with Robbo. Lap. I think I get this out is, of my warm This is now. a new segment. Yeah, I like it. And you're the, first, you're the pioneer of the oh, Titan <laughs> Couch, you're the pioneer oh, of the... <laughs> The 400 meter segment. We could have, we could have had the beanbags. Oh, that's that's next. That's, that's, next a, that's a whole time. other segment. So great to share a lap with Maddie there, Mossy. And if you'd like to catch the full interview, the entire lap, well, it's up on YouTube, and you'll be able to check that out. And uh, yeah, all the best to Maddie. And just on that note, that was actually filmed uh, via live streaming application called Meerkat. That's now, right. Keep an eye out on Mr. Dave Robbo at Silas Moss or even at Mossy and Robbo because we'll be meerkatting different uh, elements of the tour as we see them over the next couple of weeks. Now, uh, mate. As we move on now, we have to uh, have a look at uh, Run, Jump, Chuck of the Week. It's always hard because there's millions of things out there, mate. What have you got for us? Well, Mossy, if we uh, just have a look at the, uh, the phone here, I got something uh, I put on across my desk earlier in the week. This was absolutely sensational. It's over there in the States at the NB Nationals, the New Balance Nationals over there. And have you heard the term wham sauce before? Well, I'm guessing you haven't. I've heard of whammy, but <laughs> whammy. yeah. It's, it's a similar sort of category as whammy, but let's just play uh, this week's Run, Jump, Chuck of the Week. He just wham sauced the meat crew. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> that is unbelievable. So, there you go, Mossy. Run, jump, chuck of the week. Uh, the poor lady, the official there trying to pull out the, uh, the finish line tape there. She'd still be black and blue, I'd say. Absolutely. She'd be seeing stars. Absolutely. I'll tell you what, um, you know, you go to your local fish and chip shop, they ask you what type of sauce you want, you just say, wham sauce. Well, that's all we've got time for this week, folks. Uh, don't forget to uh, tune in uh, Saturday night. Uh, is the Melbourne IAAF, Melbourne World 
Challenge. It's the final leg of the Australian Athletics Tour. Plenty of action going on there, Robert. Anything that's taken your eye? Well, Mossy, uh, lots actually. And uh, we'll we probably fill up a whole other show with what I am looking forward to with this one. But just quickly, Sally Pearson, well, she's over the hurdles again. That's going to be great against Michelle Jenica and co. Uh, David Rudisha goes round again against Alex Rowe. We're calling it Rowe. ticket back. Rodisha. Yeah, yeah. Um, and can Alex Rowe, can he hang on? For a bit longer this time, can he get pulled around? Come can on. we see that clear national record become his? Uh, the javelin, Mossy, the women's javelin, Kim Mickle, she's back in action. She set the national record there last year. That was uh, unbelievable. Can she go one better again? Uh, but uh, she's up against her usual sparring partners, uh, Kelsey Lee Rollins, Catherine Mitchell, and from South Africa, uh, Sunette oh, Vilhuen, who Huen. was the, uh, on the podium with the, with. She actually Kim. spoiled it for us, didn't she? Well, she did a little bit, yeah. yeah. She was on the podium with Kim and, and Kelsey over there in Glasgow, and she's come over to try and spoil the party again. Well, let's hopefully that, hope that doesn't happen. And Mossy, what about Tams and Manu? When I saw her name involved, linked with us, I thought, oh, okay, she's coming back on the live stream. Mm-hmm. But even better than the live stream, Tams and Manu is. Well, she's doing the 400 metres. She's and delivered a child this year, and now she's going to deliver her best again on the national so, stage in the 400. And it's not just any old 400 metres. She's mixing it with Morgan Mitchell, Caitlin Sargent, Annalise Ruby. All the big names will be there. Lindsay Pekin. And uh, can't wait to see how she goes there. But Mossy, it'll all be there for you to enjoy from quarter past four Melbourne time. And I believe that's quarter past uh, eight in Nairobi, if you're watching in Kenya. So uh, we'll put all the details up on our social media on the website of what the start times are around the world where you can catch the action use the hashtag run jump chuck summer of Aths, whatever you want and uh mossy i can't wait for that one absolutely and i'll tell you what last weekend after uh david Radushi went through all the different signings etc et he whispered into my ear he said mossy it's a very simple sport athletics run jump and chuck, chuck.